James, we will start with you. Promotion to the big job, how's it, is it, does it feel different to what you were expecting? Uh, definitely the amount of time spent in the office. Uh, this, was, uh, this has increased significantly, uh, but it's been a very welcome challenge. I mean, there's been a lot of new things for me to learn. I was very fortunate that uh, you know I joined already a, a very well established and, and successful team. So, yeah, it's, it was a lot of work, but uh, it seems to be paying off. Are, are you are you and Max the only new faces at the team? How how has it worked? Because it's sort of a you know a, 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 the, the same team fundamentally that it has been when it was Venturi. Yeah, exactly. It's still it's still the same team, vice world champion team, and. Um, there's only myself, Max, and a, and a couple of others that are, that are new. The core team is still the same. The engineering group is still the same. So uh, very much continuing on from, from where we left off last year. I'm sure you say you can't read anything into testing and stuff. You look quite quick. Do you feel quite quick? I think so. I mean, a lot of, a lot of well, there's been a lot of hard work, a lot of preparation. Uh, I think, you know, everyone's kind of trying to figure everything out. This is very, very early stage in the Gen 3 car. So I still think the order will be shaken up a lot. We're going to have a lot of weekends where the order's mixed up and changing around. So, uh, so yeah, good, a good start to testing, um, but Mexico might be a different story. Okay, cool. Well, best of luck. Uh, Florian, we'll move on to you. Um, Porsche were one of the earliest teams to, to get on track in, in Gen 3. How important was that for you? In general, for us, it was very important. Uh, we had our powertrain already on the test trick end of last year. And clearly our target was to, to be also very early on track, to learn as soon as possible something about the car, about the new car, very complex car. Uh, but being all early on track uh, was also maybe not the best thing, uh, looking behind, because we had several issues with common parts. And there we lost a lot of test time there. And yeah, to, to experience our own components was clear advantage, but we also lost for this reason. Uh, several time of testing. How much do you? How much time do you spend looking at competitors' pace and trying to work out where you are in the order, or is it pointless? In general, we are at the moment still in a steep lear learning curve. We do our test program. Clearly, you look around, you check what the others are doing, but you never know what they do exactly. Uh, also, how they use their tires, on which programs they are. Therefore, it makes sense to check what general pace the field is going. But at the moment, I would not focus too much on the others. We focus on us. What has been the biggest challenge of, of Gen 3? Has it been the tyres or the braking or everything? No, oh, the biggest challenge of Gen 3 was in general the, the schedule because uh, the development schedule was quite tight. Then uh, also the test uh, schedule. Uh, we had only some months, some weeks uh, to get familiar with the car. And in addition, um, yeah, we expected that the parts which were handed over to us are in a state that you can properly run in proper test. And this was the biggest challenge to, to collect first the mileage uh, on our parts to check uh, that they are reliable, to uh, give, sign them off for the race production uh, and to get the parts in time to be ready for racing. That, that was the biggest challenge. Cool. Thank you. Uh, Fred, now turning to you, how has this week felt? Has it felt a little bit strange? And how is, how is your time at Mahindra going? Uh, strange, not necessarily, it's more uh, uh, exciting right now. I think uh, the, the, the week is going uh, as good as we could expect. Um, I think the words are there. Uh, it's, uh, we are in a very steep learning curve. Hard work in front of us, uh, very uh, technological car, and uh, we will discover a lot all along the life of that car. So for sure, the, that week is a very, very important week for everyone. Um, and uh, it was nice to maximize the mileage as much as we could. <clears throat> Thanks also to everyone. The, there was a, a very, uh, I think the, the, the teamwork is also very interesting. I think being on that side for me is just giving an additional uh, excitement to um, better. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, it's it just giving an additional excitement to uh, what, what Formula E uh, all is the Formula E. I know. I know the Formula E on the other side. I know from this side now, and it's really, really exciting. What's the biggest difference on this side? Uh, I think before I had to take care of 22 cars. Now it's two only. <laughs> it's really interesting. Um, but uh, more, more than than that, um, you focus on, on on performance, where before you focus on having a good event. And I think in terms of uh, adrenaline, you have adrenaline on both sides. 
but uh, making a good event for uh, organization side and FIA side <coughs> is making sure that everyone is safe, that you have a good show, that you have uh, good racing. Where on the team side, uh, for the moment, I don't, I didn't experience the racing side, but you just look that your two cars are uh, going well, your drivers are happy, your team is working well, and you get good results. So it's quite a different adrenaline, but adrenaline on both sides. Yeah, keeping Lucas happy will be easy, right? It's probably a part of the adrenaline too. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, this season for Mahindra is obviously quite a big one with the with the race in Hyderabad. So you must be looking forward to that. Uh, to be honest, I, I never know if it's a good or bad news for me uh, <laughs> because for sure it's a, a lot of pressure coming with a, a race uh, at home, uh, and and we can already see that the level of interest from uh, all the Mahindra group, all our partners like ZF, Shelly is very high. Uh, level of expectation is very high also, so what we really look like is to give everyone a very good time there. Uh, and uh, on the other side, that pressure is, is something I don't want that it start to be too much. So we also need to manage expectation and make sure that no one is disappointed. So we will do our best and uh, we need to make sure that the experience is, is very good for everyone. But in any case, it's a very good news for Mahindra, but also for the championship. Racing in India is, is great. Opening such a market for the championship is, is a really good news. And we need to make sure that we have plenty of uh, over experiences like this one. Perfect. Thank you very much. Uh, right, we'll open it up to the floor. Any questions? Robert Seifert, Motorsport Magazine. Um, with so little running before the season opener, do you think that Mexico might come a little bit too early? And do you all feel prepared uh, quite well for the season opener car-wise? To all three of you, please. Fred, what's up, Fred? Um, I, I'm sure we don't feel prepared enough, that's for sure. Uh, but it's coming and it's a very important uh, uh, meeting point for everyone to start the season there, showing gentry capabilities. So we will do uh, all what is necessary on the team, manufacturer, promoter, FIA side to have a great event there. And on a particular case of Mahindra, uh, I think we are, we are getting ready and we will be there in a good shape with uh, full motivation. James? I mean, in 25 years of motorsport, I've never started a season feeling truly prepared. So uh, maybe we're a little bit less than, than normal, but, um, but yeah, there's a, a long road ahead of us and, uh, and it's coming soon, Mexico. So I think it's incredibly exciting. And I'm sure this week has given us all a good opportunity to get on top of many of the issues that, uh, that we found in testing. From our side, I agree. Uh, this week was really important uh, to also get the race operations, everything sorted. And I agree on James, um, you never feel 100% prepared because there's everywhere a lot of potential um, that's every year the same. Uh, we could be maybe prepared a bit better in general from our Porsche development parts, uh, reliability topics, we feel prepared. And the last step we do this afternoon and then we go racing in Mexico.